13 things to avoid if you want to become rich. A lot of people, they struggle financially and they think to themselves, oh, you know what? I cannot become rich because I don't have enough money or I don't have enough capital. I don't have the right idea or I'm not in the right industry or I don't have the right connections. You know what? From my experience, that's not what holds most people back. What holds most people back is this one thing and that is ego. That's right, ego. Now you may be thinking, no, I don't have any ego. What are you talking about? I'm just struggling financially, I don't have money. No, that's not true. You see, ego comes in many disguises. When I was broke, I had many, many of these egos that are holding me back. Today, I'm gonna share with you 13 of them. Comment below and see if you recognize any one of them. And if you think you don't have any, that is exactly the problem. Number one, the blame ego. See, lame people blame people. The blame ego says, well, it's not my fault. It's the government's fault. It's the economy, right? It's the industry. It's my coworkers. It's my parents. Oh, you know what? I come from a dysfunctional family and that's why I will never become rich. Or all my friends, oh, that's why I will never become rich. Or it because my supervisor, he is holding me back and that's why I could never become rich. See, the blame ego always says it's someone else's fault. They're always pointing fingers. And remember, when you're pointing finger to someone else, one finger pointing out, guess what? Three fingers pointing back. Do you have this ego? Do you blame other people? Do you make excuses? Then maybe the one that's holding you back. Number two, the know-it-all ego. See, when I was broke, I thought I know it all. I don't need to read books. I know what I'm doing. I was starting all these businesses and guess what? None of them work because I thought I knew what I was talking about. Guess what? I didn't know shit. Okay, you don't know shit. See, the know-it-all, always thinking they know everything. Keep doing the same thing again and again and expect a different result. That's the very definition of insanity. The know-it-all ego. Number three, the fearful ego. You see what holds a lot of people back is fear. Fear of success, fear of failure, fear of making a mistake. Think about it. Before you do something, you're saying to yourself, well, what if it doesn't work? Or oh, what, if, what if I lose money? And what if, what if I make a mistake? Then what happens? What if I don't know what to do? What if I can't figure this out? Or what if, what if, what if, what if? What if it does work? You see, always remember fear is an acronym. It stands for false evidence appearing real. It's nothing more than a made up story in your own mind. So do you have the fearful ego holding you back? Number four, the comfort zone ego. It says, I'm comfortable, I'm happy where I am, I'm content, ah, things are fine, you know, I don't, I don't need to be that ambitious. Well, that's the problem. Your income zone is your comfort zone. Your comfort zone is your income zone. When you get complacent, when you get comfortable, you are not growing. Remember, when you're not growing, you are dying. So do you have this ego that is holding you back right now? Now, and what are you gonna do about it? Number five, the judgmental ego. I want you to imagine this. You are walking down the street and suddenly you hear <laughs> and suddenly you see a red Ferrari <laughs> just drove by. What's the first thought that comes through your mind? Comment below, no filter, no edit, just comment below. What's the very first thought that comes to your mind? My guess is, chances are, he's an asshole. Who does he think he is? So cocky, so selfish, probably a greedy bastard. Actually, you know what? Probably it's not his money anyway. It's his daddy's money. Or if it's a lady, it's a woman, oh, that's a gold digger, right? All these negativities, guess what? That's you judging other people. My question to you is, how do you know? How do you know? It's all made up stories in your mind, right? And you say, oh, he's not that good. She's not that pretty. He's not that smart. You're judging other people. You're projecting your own insecurities, your own values onto other people. How do you know that man is not a hardworking man? How do you know he's not a good husband? 
How do you know he's not a family man? How do you know he's someone who's worked 20, 30 years to get to where he is at this point? How do you know? You judge, you come to your own conclusions before even talking to the person. You see how your mind works? How are you gonna be successful? How are you ever gonna become rich if that's the image that you have for people who are successful? Number six, the excuses ego. You see, you can make money or you can make excuses, but you cannot do both. An excuse is nothing more than a well-planned lie. You see, the excuses ego says, well, I, I can't afford it, I, I don't have money, right? Or, or, or that's too far, or, or that's too, too difficult, or too, I, I don't have enough experience. It's always, I can't, I can't, I can't, or I don't know how. You see, you could have a million excuses why you cannot do something. You only need one damn good reason why you must do it. Number seven, the people-pleasing ego. Well, I just want to make sure everybody's happy, everybody's okay, right? Yeah, I know, but I don't, I don't want to rock the boat, right? As long as everybody's okay, then, then I'm okay. You try to please people too much. You always put other people first. Nothing wrong with that. But sometimes in life, you have to put yourself first. Even when you're flying on an airplane, you got to put on your own, your own oxygen mask first before you help someone else. Sometimes in life, you have to put yourself first. You have to be a little bit selfish so you could be generous. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. You always put your family first. You always put other people first. My question to you is, what about you? And you might think you're so selfless. No, you're being selfish. That's people-pleasing ego in play. Number eight, the justification ego. You justify why you don't do something. You justify why you can't do it. You know, I am too young. I am too old. I am an immigrant. I speak with an accent. I don't have enough experience. Or maybe, you know what? It's too late, I'm married. I've got a husband, I've got a wife. I have kids, right? I, I sacrifice for my kids. And you know what? I never wanted it anyway. That it's a lie. You justify your failures. Don't use your kids as an excuse. Use them as fuel, as your motivation. Why you must do something, not why you can do something. Stop justifying. Number nine, the jealous ego. Have you ever said stuff like this? Oh, rich people are greedy. They are selfish. Oh, you know what? It's, it's not that big of a deal anyway. It's jealousy. Don't criticize what you have not done or what you're not capable to do. Don't judge. Sometimes I even see it on YouTube, right? People judging this and judging that. I don't really give a damn. But they say, oh, about the, how about you go do it? You upload a video, you build a channel, right? You go impact millions of people's lives. Until you've done it, don't let this jealous ego hold you back. Number 10, the fake ego. Have you ever met someone that you don't know them, but the minute you meet with them, they just have this weird kind of vibe that you don't trust him or her, or they feel very fake that you feel like, oh my God, they're just so fake, they're so superficial, that you don't make that connection, that they're not genuine. Or have you ever met someone that just the minute you meet with them, you make that instant connection, and then there's that trust, there's, there's that bond, that you feel this person is sincere. The fake ego, maybe that's you. Maybe that you're very good at putting on this mask, you're very good that in one circumstance, you can be this person. In an other scenario, you become a different person. And then here, you become another person. And before you know it, you've done it for so many years, you don't know who you are anymore. You don't know which one is the real you. Which one is the real you? You've lost yourself. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Be yourself. I would rather People hate me for who I am, then love me for who I am not. So don't, don't use the fake ego. You don't need it to be successful. Number 11, and that is the shy ego. The shy ego says, well, I'm, I'm just shy. I'm, I'm just an introvert. I'm not good with people. 
and I'm just like, mm, it's okay. I don't, I don't like to talk. I'll just be like that. Right? You use that as an excuse. You use that to stay in your own bubble. You use that to stay in your own shell. Guess what? Believe it or not, I was a very, very shy person. I was an introvert. I was the kid when I was going through high school. I had no friends. I didn't want to talk to people because I couldn't speak the language. I was so afraid. Even now, sometimes when I go to meet a lot of people, I still sometimes have that little bit of awkwardness. It's normal, but I don't let that hold me back. I know if I want to be more successful, if I want to be rich, I have to get outside of my comfort zone. I have to overcome my shyness. That's how I could do what I do. So don't use that your personality as an excuse to hold you back. Number twelve, the other people's opinions, ego. Be honest. Do you worry a lot what people think of you? Do you worry how people perceive you? You know you want to do something, but oh, what would people think of that? What would people think of my action? Even deep down, you know that's the right thing to do, but you don't do it because you have other people's opinions. Ego. You let other people's opinions stop you from doing what you know is the right thing. Those people, they could be your family, they could be your relatives, they could be your friends, they could be your high school buddies. It doesn't matter. It could be social media. You're uploading a video. You're posting on social media. You're making noise. You're getting attention. Suddenly, you get a few haters. Guess what? You stop. People don't care about you. Haters and trolls will add no value in your life. And some keyboard warriors, some losers, post a comment. And you're like, "Ooh, I guess that hurts my feeling." And you stop doing what it's right. You stop doing what is going to make you successful. Stop. Stop worrying about other people's opinions. It's just their opinions. It doesn't matter. Critics, haters, haters gonna hate. It doesn't matter. You do what you know is right. Number thirteen, and that is the do-it-yourself ego. Yes, the do-it-yourself ego says this: If you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. Wow. They'll never do it as good as the way that I do it. Oh, I don't trust him, or I don't trust her. If you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. What you're really saying is, I don't trust other people. That is ego. That's a form of ego that holds you back because nothing great is accomplished just with one person. It requires other people. It requires teamwork. So the do-it-yourself ego. This is probably one of the most common egos that hold most people back. That hold most entrepreneurs back. That's holding them back from going to that next level because they are control freaks. They have this massive, massive do-it-yourself ego that's holding them back. So comment below. How many of these egos? And be honest. How many of these egos do you have out of the 13? The 13 egos. That are preventing most people from becoming rich. Comment below. Now, if you say I got none of them, not one, that is probably the biggest ego that I have ever seen. If you say you've got none of them, because I had a lot of these, I still have some of these. I still have to work through them myself. If you want my help to help you to eliminate some of these egos in your life that are preventing you, that are holding you back, click a link here. Join me. I'm gonna take you on a seven-week powerful transformation journey. By the end of the seven weeks, you will not even recognize yourself because you will be able to have the self-awareness to know where these egos came from, why do you have them, and how do you eliminate them so you could get to the place where you want to be. I'm not just talking about financially, mentally, physically, emotionally. Seven week. Join me. Click the link right now.